Hi. In this uh, video, I will explain you how to use Remote Test Kit with Mux Test Mobile Automation Tool. Uh, we'll use some devices from a public cloud and use them for automation. So in this video, I'll show you a demo using uh, Android device. So this is the Remote Test Kit application. So by default it points to the public cloud, but if you have a private cloud setup, then uh, it will point to the private cloud which is in your premise. So I'm logging into the public cloud now. And as you can see here, all the devices which are present in the public cloud are listed. So few of these devices are already rented out. We don't know by whom, but we, we cannot rent these devices for now. But rest of the devices are available. So we have devices from Japan as well as United States. So you can see there are Android devices as well as iPhone devices having different version of iOS from 5, 6 up to 7.0. So as as uh, as new versions of uh, mobile platforms they come into the market, so the support for them is enabled and they are added to the public cloud. So here I'll rent one device now. Let me select. Okay, let's rent this one. I click on rent. So it will show me a pop up for how much time I want to rent this device. Let's say 60 minutes. So we have the device here. This is the real device and it is located in United States with having a network connectivity from Verizon. So I can operate the device just by clicking on the screen. So we have few options. We can install the application, we can launch the browser and there are different, uh, many other options to use the device efficiently. So let's enable the ADB and now we'll jump over to the automation part. So to start the automation I launch the Mux test client. So the first step is to install the Mux agent onto the cloud device using Android installer. So here you can see two devices, you are seeing two devices because I have one device locally connected. So we'll just forget about it and install the agent on the device which we rented from the cloud. So we'll install the agent as well as a sample application. It will take some time because these applications are getting installed, transferred and getting installed over the device which is located in United States. test application is bigger so it will take more time to get installed
so we have the application installed now it took a long time because this uh, apk file was really big and we can click on ok and close the android installer so now we have the agent as well as the application and we'll try to connect it to the device manager Let's toggle this ADB connectivity once. Okay, so we have it connected and now we can start doing the automation the automation will be explained in the part 2 of the video thank you